I hate green tea, but I sure do like what I do to this. I'll show you how I make this lemonade. So I take my old empty jug, and I'll just use it as my mixing jug, and this is the product, it's Diet Green Tea. So here's what I do to it. I pour it right into this gallon. Just pour the whole thing right into a gallon jug. Of course, you've got your own jug you could mix in. Both of these are zero calorie. What I'm gonna do to this, I don't know what made me think to do this. Desperate for something to drink other than water, I'm assuming. I take a whole thing of lemon juice. Now you could add water to it or more green tea, whatever the uh, two part mix is you like. But that's what I like, it's pretty tart. If you like tart, you gotta try this. This is the best drink ever. It's so refreshing. Flow just gently across the side of the can so you don't string and drip. I'm gonna go over the entire door, going all the way around the edges. Give it one more coat. Notice I dipped again. I'm gonna keep dipping into the brush. I'm gonna go right into the frame, just a bit, right into that little reserve of the door here. Same thing goes. Don't worry about how it looks right now. It's not that something to worry about the brush strokes. You don't keep brushing over it and over it and over it. Remember, this is a self-leveling paint, and if you'll go by this method, you won't have any problems about brush strokes. Next, notice I'm stopping right here. I don't wanna paint the middle of the door right now. I wanna concentrate on making this look beautiful. I have a dry roller that we put into our tool trio. Just go right around this frame, softly, softly rolling it. See some bubbles popping up here? That means I got a little bit of excess right here, but that's not a big deal. You just roll till those bubbles go away. No different pressure or anything, just keep the same pressure. Very light, very light. Not pushing, not this, not at all. I'm just lightly rolling over that. That's just kind of feathering away all those little brush strokes that I had into the paint. That's gonna make the coverage so much better every layer that you put on. Remember, paint is about adding layers. It's not about trying to kill it all with one coat. Now, turning my little roller on its side so I can get right into this little reservoir because this is where paint's gonna pool up. This is where the brush will try to offload here just a little bit and make a little pool or run. This door was hanging still, uh, which is the way I prefer to paint doors. You might get a little run here. So if you'll turn your roller to the side, just roll right back into this area. That way, when we go over this in a minute, none of that will matter. All right, so that's all taken care of. At this time, you would, on your doors at home, go around the edges roll all of that, make sure you've caught all the runs. If your hinges are still on like this door, paint up to them as close as you can with this method, and then take your artist brush and paint around them. But right now, let's concentrate on the face of the door. At home, you would then concentrate on this after you finish the door, concentrate on going around your hinges. Now, next step would be going into the center of the door. Again, one third brush right down into the paint, whether that be a quart, a pint, or a sample. I'm gonna go right to my project. I'm just gonna go right around the edges. I'm not gonna go up onto that little edge that I just rolled, there's no point. It's got plenty of paint. Now notice, not stingy with the paint. Putting on a good amount of paint. See how it's pooled up there? If you started rolling through that, you'd get a pile of bubbles. So don't wanna do that. Don't wanna leave it piled up anywhere. I'm just gonna move the paint around till I feel like it's evenly placed across that door. Once I feel like it looks pretty even, don't keep brushing, there's no need. Just take your roller again to the dry 